What's up everybody, Jam and John here with Thralls of Metal, bringing you yet another album review. This time the record coming to us from the guys over at Screaming Toilet, ScreamingToilet.com. If you've never been there, please do yourself a favor and go, especially if you are a fan of movies, uh, 80s and 90s pop culture, horror movies, toys, action figures, and us, of course, we're also there. <laughs> Uh, the record I will be reviewing for you all today is the newest one from the band Thanatopsis with their album Initiation. came out in 2020 on Extreme Metal Music Records. They are from Oakland, California, formed in 1992. Now, these guys are not to be confused with the six other bands named Thanatopsis. Uh, there's a couple from Germany. Um, they're mostly thrash and or death metal bands, except for one of my favorite Thanatopsis bands, the one with Buckethead and Travis Dickerson, which is what I initially thought this was, but it's not. This is their first full-length album. Now keep in mind they were initially established in 1992. They had six demos come out between 1992 and 1997, and then an EP in 1995. So pretty much after 1997 they took a what, a 19-year break until they released another EP in 2016, and now here we are, once again, their first full-length album in 2020. Now, their guitarist, Dave Couch, is formerly of Possessed, and then their drummer, Jason Borton, comes from, um, well, he played live in Jungle Rot, he played live with Archaic, Ex Mortis, Cataclysm. I just looked him up on Google not that long ago, and he is in a, just a slew of of bands as a live drummer, so way to go, man, on keeping yourself busy. As I had stated, these guys were initially classified as progressive death metal, although now it's death thrash. The first song, Age of Silence, just pretty much reminds me of 2000s era thrash. So, like, coming right off of the 90s with bands like Testament and Slayer, these guys take more of, like, the Shadows Fall, Lamb of God approach. Which isn't bad, it's just really straightforward. Like in the song Age of Silence, the, the vocalist has this really straightforward approach and doesn't deviate from that much. The vocalist is super straightforward. Just sounds like a mixture between Randy Blythe and Jamie Josta throughout the whole album. There's no real deviation from getting barked at. Which is fine. It fits sometimes, like in the song Consequence. That song has a real testament feel to it. Um, not as dynamic. The musicianship is solid, nothing flashy, very appropriate for thrash. But the vocals are super dry. And again, they're just barked. Around the 3 minute and 50 second mark of that song, though, there is this super cool little melodic part. And uh, the leads, while they're not plentiful on this album, the lead tone in this sounds like the um, guitar tone used in the Art of Shredding from off of Cowboys from Hell from Pantera. The vocalist in the song Malfated <laughs> sounds like Satan from South Park. You know that episode of South Park where Satan throws the Halloween party and he says no one can come dressed up as the crow, but then he comes dressed up as the crow and then ends up yelling at a bunch of people. Anyway, that episode, when Satan yells at people, that's what this guy sounds like in this song. It does have some neat riff work in it. There's this really kind of creepy crawler riff that comes towards the end. And then the bass tone, the bassist is really good, but the tone they used in here sounds like Justin Chancellor's bass line off of Schism. Doesn't really fit, but not bad. I don't know. Overall, I would state that I have some minor gripes with the the mix of this album. You know what? I, I think after you review thousands and thousands of albums, you tend to get a little picky. And I don't really want to keep doing that to bands, but in this case, I think they could just stand a couple tweaks in the studio. Again, very straightforward thrash. The songs aren't real long. There's only eight of them. I, I think the record tops out at like 32, 33 minutes, so it's not bad for a first EP. Tweak the vocals a little bit, add some screams, add some growls, add some clean singing, add something uh, as a variant. 
Overall though, I'm gonna give this record three stars. It's not a bad listen. It's not the greatest listen, but it's not a bad listen. <laughs> yeah, I dug it. All right, that brings us to the end of this review. If you guys like what you saw, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the bell notification and all that happy horse shit you have to do on YouTube just to watch somebody's channel. Uh, furthermore, head on over to ScreamingToilet.com and read about the Creature from the Black Lagoon or order an action figure or some games or a whoopee cushion or something. Something. Those guys deserve some love too. You guys take care.